Hey everyone, thank you for taking time to join me here. I do wish all of you fathers out there a very happy uh, Father's Day. And um, tomorrow will be a reflection for me um, just on uh, on my father because I lost him in September. And uh, be my first uh, Father's Day without him. I just wanted to make a quick uh, video and just to let my subscribers know that I will be uh, setting a schedule and it will be filming every Tuesday and uh, Thursday. So make sure to keep checking back. And the reason I'm doing this is because I have received a lot of in the comment section down below, a lot of my subscribers uh, have been telling me that they have been uns unsubscribed to my channel and um, they are wondering why like they haven't seen a notification from me and when they come they've been unsubscribed or they're just not getting the notification even though they have clicked the bell notification so if you haven't clicked the bell notification make sure you hit it so that you are hopefully alerted when I do make a community post or a video also if you don't know what the community post is if you go to the home page so my home page at the top it'll say home uh, videos community posts and about right and you just click the community post if you are not alerted and I will make announcements there if for some reason for a Tuesday or Thursday that I can't make that uh, video it will be in the community post or the update um, yeah just keep checking back but like I said just so that you don't have to keep checking back but so you know Tuesdays and Thursdays there will be a video here Another thing that I wanted to touch quickly on is I went to the Bank of America and uh, I waited in line 35 minutes-ish because they had one one teller and then they wrote another one and then that other one about five minutes into it after she helped a, a customer she ended up leaving and we're back down to one and it's just frustrating. Um, restaurants are having to close early because they don't have enough workers to fill the spots. Uh, I was reading paramedics are short. Some of them are working just about 16 hours um, to the point of exhaustion. So a lot of strange things going on with, with the banking you know, system and the banking community right now. So what I always promote is one, having precious metals, that is gold and silver. I'm a big proponent of it. You need to be having that to transfer your wealth. This, the dollar is collapsing. Why do you think when you're going to the pump and you're going to the gas station that you're paying extra? The inflation, well it is because of the inflation, but you're your money is losing purchasing power okay so it's taking more of this stuff to buy the same stuff that you were accustomed to buying for a lot cheaper all right so keep that in mind now what i recommend cash is still king until it's no longer right and that means when it's completely devalued and they because what they're doing is they're moving this to a different uh they're do a different currency reducing it slowly until they sorry <laughs> busy street over there. Sounds like I'm right in the depth of the city and I'm really not. But anyway, thank you for that. I love motorcycles, I do, but not when I'm filming. <laughs> Alright, so back to if I can remember training my focus here. Train of focus, train of thought, see? Train of thought. Um, making sure you have low denomination bills, right? So make sure you have your 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 dollars, your ones, fives, okay. Fives are really good. I have a lot of fives, and make sure you have tens, twenties, and hundreds. Because if you cannot get to the bank, the ATM is down for whatever reason. Well, you still need to buy things, or you still gotta have money for food. You still gotta have money for gas and and for purchases, right? So, having this stuff on hand, and if I say, and I always say, if you don't hold it, you don't own it, period. That goes with your precious metals. Don't be putting your precious metals into a safety deposit box or into a vault, because if you can't get to it, well, it's pretty much useless to you. Also, making sure that you train with your firearm, and I always show on my channel, it's clear, no magazines in it, and the chamber is clear there. This is what I train with. Yes, yeah, so train with this, protect this stuff, and protect this, your life. 
So I'm not going to ramble on for a long period of time, but I just wanted to make that announcement about uh, the videos will be released Tuesdays and Thursdays. And uh, I will try maybe to squeeze in another one if there is something that drops. Yes, the feds raised the rate 75 basis points and they're going to raise it again and they will probably raise it again until everything is just collapsed, right? So you, we need to be preparing for an like, entire economical collapse right now because that is definitely what's happening. That's definitely what's coming our way. Uh, all those cows that were, what was it, in Kansas that they supposedly just died of heat heat exhaustion and then another plant, food plant that was basically um, burned down again. Why is all of a sudden all of these manufacturers of food being uh, burned down? Think about it, right? I always say there's a war on our food because if you control the food, you control the people, period. So again, I want to wish all you fathers out there a very happy Father's Day. Enjoy it. I have never take somebody for granted. Uh, can be in your life one day and not the next, literally. So, always be appreciative for the things that we do have. If you are watching this on a phone, a tablet, um, a computer, uh, iPad, consider yourself blessed because there's so many people right now that are hurting out there and they don't have, uh, you know, the national uh, price for a uh, apartment now is about two grand. That's a lot. So people are being priced out of apartment buildings right now. And not everybody has just got endless supply of money and can just, you know, suck it up, right? It's hurting a lot of people. What people are doing is they're maxing out their uh, their credit cards. So they're going to be putting, um, just like they did in 2008, they're going to be putting freezing those credit limits because they're seeing the same process happening all over again, right? It's like, did we not learn from our mistakes? That's why they always say history repeats, because apparently we don't learn from our mistakes. Now, a lot of this was not our fault. Uh, in the mortgage industry, in the GFC 2008, when it crashed, it was, it was because of proprietary lending. People were getting subprime loans that didn't really need to be in a home, and that caught up because they were pretty much on an amortized rate. We were giving out 228, so they were fixed for two years. Then. Uh, after the two years was up, they amortized, right? And then they could not afford their mortgage payment. And it was just a big old mess. You know, investors were selling selling their, their loans to this person, that person. Oh, you know, people's loans, and including my, myself. So I didn't lose my home, but I did feel the brunt of it. You know, it, it took my lifestyle down uh, quite a bit um, from what my ex and I were uh, used to. So we were both working, and... Um, Thank goodness we were still, you know, able to, to work. I transitioned to a dental office and um, he went to still doing loans, but he went into more of a supervisor inside uh, Citibank at the time, which was, you know, it was a blessing. So we got lucky in that area, but it did take our lifestyle, you know, like pretty much cut in half, you know, so this time it's going to be a lot, it's going to be far worse. So we really need to prepare because I've always said it's, it's going to hit all people this time. It's coming from every direction. Anyhow, that's all I'm going to say this evening. I wish you all well. Hopefully I will get this up tonight or it'll be up uh, tomorrow. So I wish everybody again to take care, be safe, be well, be happy in your life. Keep prepping, make sure you have cash on hand, make sure you're training with your firearm. And I'm about a month, so I'm going to get back out to the range. Because I don't like to go that long because, you know, muscle memory, you still got to be training and uh, to be proficient out there and, and do it. But I've just been really busy and there's just been a lot going on. And uh, yeah, so good night, everyone, and God bless. So I'm in the bank to take a cashier's check today. So, draw a moment out.